Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Life with God or Carolina. Thank you guys so much for watching. And today I am doing a little review and look on the NYX Cosmetics Earth Palette. They actually came out with, I believe it's six different palettes. So I purchased the Earth Palette. So these palettes do retail for $30, which is pricey for drugstore. But I just wanted to test them out to see how they are and if they're even worth $30. So that's what I did today. I came up with this look. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this look using the NYX Cosmetics Earth Palette, just keep watching. I'm going to go ahead and try this palette out. It's the NYX In Your Element palette and this one is in Earth. You get 12 eyeshadows. They're like the earthy tone eyeshadows. Once you open it up, you do get a really nice mirror in here. I like the design on the front of the packaging, but it is plastic. And this actually retails for $30. I, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like drugstore is getting so expensive. I honestly thought they were going to be like max $20. But then I saw that it, they were actually $30 per palette. And I was like, oh my god, that is so expensive for a drugstore palette. Like if you spend a little bit more, you can get like... An Anastasia palette. You can get like the Modern Renaissance palette if you like save a little bit more. And I love the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. It's like one of my favorite, favorite palettes. I just wanted to pick this up just to see how they actually are. And I'm hoping they're good quality because they are $30 per palette. I actually wanted to get this one in the Fire palette, but I just didn't want to spend $60 on two palettes. So that's why I only grabbed one. So I'm going to go in with my primer. So I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I love this primer. It's like one of my favorite primers. If you don't have an eyeshadow primer, you can definitely just use concealer. I'm going to go in with that shade and just put this all over my lid. They are pretty powdery, so I'm just going to set my concealer with this shade. I'm just tapping off the excess. So I think that's a pretty good lid shade, but also it's probably going to be a really good transition shade. So I'm going to go ahead and use that shade also as a transition shade. I'm going to put that all over my crease. So those two colors are blending pretty nicely together. I'm not getting any like patchiness around here. They are very powdery and I did have to um, keep adding some of that brown to get like little bit more intense. That one is basically like the darkest brown that this whole palette has. So I'm going to put that on the outer crease. And this one is also powdery. This one's not that dark. Like it's, it didn't go as dark as it is on the palette on my eye. So I'm going to just add more. You can definitely build this color up though. So if you want it darker, just keep building it up so you can get more intense brown. I'm gonna put that all over my lid. I'm just gonna take this little brush that came in with my Urban Decay palette. It's like a mustard gold yellow shade. It's actually really pretty. This color does give me a lot of fallout because I have a lot of fallout right here. You definitely do need to build it up to get it to this intensity or greater. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup off camera and I'll be back to share with you my final thoughts on what I think about the NYX Cosmetics Earth Palette. Okay guys, so I'm back. just wanted to share with you my final thoughts on the NYX Cosmetics Earth Palette. Honestly, I think $30 for a drugstore palette is a lot. So my suggestion to you is to just go ahead and wait until NYX has that like 30% off or where you get that uh, $3.50 off of 15 at your local Ulta. They are really good eyeshadows. Like, they did blend really nicely. They are a little bit chalky, but they blend really nice together. So like I said, the shimmer color that I used, that really pretty gold shade, does take a little bit to build up. So you do need to build it up to get that intense color on your lid. You know, I do really like them, but I would personally just wait until these palettes go on sale. So if they do go on sale, I would probably end up getting the Fire palette just because that one looks so pretty. Um, but I wanted to try this one out. I just thought I could recreate more looks out of this palette than the other palette. Um, but yeah, it's a little pricey, but honestly, I think you can do um, a lot of looks just with this one palette. So 
If you guys are interested in me using this palette again, if you guys want to see another look using the NYX Cosmetics Earth Palette, just let me know. Happy to film another look for you. This really pretty green shade, like green teal shade that I would love to use. It's such a pretty palette. I'll go ahead and link um, where you can purchase this palette in the description box if you guys are interested in purchasing it. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. For any other videos, any product reviews that you guys want me to do, please let me know. I'd be happy to review any products for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Bye.